Hand clap to the master guys. We are finally back again for another one and the one and only Mr. Licks reaction. Right, guys, big up all the Mr. Licks YouTube family out of large man. I met some of you guys last night. Big up yourself as well. Big up you guys as well for definitely uh, being a part of the Mr. Licks family. And of course, tune in into this year reaction video. If you're Mr. Licks family, guys, give this video a thumbs up right now. Click the thumbs up button. Boom, bang. <laughs> Boom, bang, bang, brothers and sisters. Click the thumbs up button right there and then. I would appreciate that. I help, I help, I help the algorithm of YouTube. <laughs> To push the videos further and further and of course big up all the newcomers out there as well for them for night tuning into to this year reaction video if you want to pick up a part of the mystics family to get my reactions on different things pretty much pertaining to the caribbean people and of course that of the diaspora right there dominica of course included in that definitely subscribe and turn on a post notification click the bell when you subscribe and then click all so you'll be pretty much notified when i drop all my videos right there and then let's get into the vibrations guys but don't forget to download the mystics tube app right here as you can pretty much see that of course be in the first comment in the comment box below guys as you can pretty much see this is the aftermath <sighs> the aftermath man the aftermath of hurricane ian this of course is in the fort myers region as as you can see you can see a few houses and what have you guys still standing according to triple still standing brothers and sisters but uh, a set of devastation in the place brethren devast this is what you call devastation in the place my brothers and sisters and of course it's rather unfortunate right there of course it doesn't stop there there's also this more uh, vibrations that you can see of course this looks like it was some sort of garage in that region but it just fell down beat deep there's some vehicles outside i'm guessing the water pushed the vehicles outside um maybe saving the vehicles i'm guessing i'm not sure if i can say saving the vehicles but you know this is not looking good at all this is just commerce that in the place guys commerce if your vehicle was outside there in that kind of thing it gets some dent some bdp get brothers and sisters and of course that looks like a nice vehicle but unfortunately nice vehicle or not nice vehicle all of them getting some work <laughs> they getting worked brethren look at that look at that I'm sure this is not all the houses, guys. You, for the, for, you guys don't have foundation. Where, where's the foundation in the houses and stuff? Because this house look like they just came together as one. They are unified, unified for a certain region, reason that we have no idea about. These houses just crumble up together. We like, oh, let me move and let me come closer because I feel lonely. Huh. I don't think that is the idea of these houses, guys. One of the things I always tell people. You want to play with hurricane don't play with hurricane build weak houses still and these are just the houses that are still standing so to speak you know guys remember back in the day in dominica they used to have um vehicles that used to pull house well i suspect they can do the same thing for those houses too because you can't tell me houses are jump back together like this apparently those houses have no foundations all you don't know all in the hurricane belt all you need to build houses stronger than this eh? because that is not nothing simple right there we were on the hurricane category 5 hurricane 165 miles per hour and we were on the wall houses and and i see the hurricane the wind self were eating concrete for you mad eating concrete you guys face a category 4 which means most likely there might be a category 5 in the future who knows i think they're saying that this is probably one of the strongest hurricanes that have passed through this region right there i think the other one was in new orleans and you know new orleans went on the water but this is not nothing simple right there guys even the boats you think you pack your boat properly you know the boats are unifying again it seems like hurricane ian wanted things to unify because he kept bringing things together bring houses together <laughs> that is something bring boats together it bring vehicles together <laughs> well everything getting together well, look look at that i'm guessing these houses were on there i'm, I'm guess that's why this one most likely was was the only one that probably were bolted into the ground was bolted into the ground it seems but the others the others didn't have a fighting chance they clear the lot mother nature say what i want to clear the lot i claim the lot for all you and through all the houses in the river <laughs> It's something else when mother nature decide you know what all you in my place all you want to invade let me take it let me let me do some clean up man clean up on aisle five and there it is brethren there it is what's the those houses were trailer houses no boy i i i still cannot believe that eh? 
I cannot believe this has to be trailer houses. This has to be well. This one doesn't look like a trailer house. This one looks like a trailer though. This maybe this one doesn't look so. Maybe it was a mix of of, of both. Because that is kind of crazy, man. Houses moving. What is what is this? Well, then again, they tend to make feeble houses. The, the bridge self, the bridge fall down. Chinese only take to build the bridge, man. Chinese only take to build the bridge because look at the bridge. The bridge fall down, eh? Well, under the bridge fall down. <laughs> well, we know the weak part of the bridge is, so you have to fix that up. That is a heck of a thing right there. Moving along right there. This is another area. I don't know how, how the fire end up starting on the hurricane. But I'm thinking maybe as a result of, of the electrical wires, that's probably what that caused the, the thing the, the, the thing to go down. This looks like it was a building some, somehow. And maybe there were some electrical wires that were touching and what have you inside there. And boom, building go down. Building go down. All this, by the way, is in Fort Myers. Eh? Fort Myers. So all these that you see in there, Fort Myers, Fort Myers, Fort Myers, Fort Myers. Around this region, Fort Myers. But it doesn't stop there, you know, guys. There's more. There's more across Miami. Cars on the water. <laughs> yes, sir. Cars on the water. And I'm understanding that you guys probably do not understand these kind of things right there. But we in the Caribbean, we know it too well. We we know it very well indeed. Yeah, cars on the water, man. Trees, trees, trees underwater too. Well, trees almost underwater. So if you decide you're running, boy, and you grab a tree and you climb the tree, well, I'll go smoke your pipe. But these houses are gone. These houses are gone, man. This looks like it was a church or something, or a school over there, or apartments. Well, the apartments underwater. You think he's in places like Cuba alone, this kind of thing's happening? In the great United States too? Look it there for you. Look it there for you. Same thing happened in Cuba. I saw a guy on the water. Not he wasn't on the water, but his house. He was in a house. And in his house, he is in a river, brethren. He and his wife, elderly folks, they are in a river. Category 4, Ian, that did these things right there. You think it's now you can sell food? You don't have food to sell no no. <laughs> boy look things we boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You in your yard you call like you, you put your fence up everything nice and dandy and look your house almost underwater. Mother nature bring back water, eh? Mother nature bring back the waters. <laughs> if you don't know where your roof is, well look it there. For those of all you watching, look your roof there. It's swimming in the water. <laughs> boy, that hurricane do easy, boy. But then again, people are building weak houses in these places. So I think Florida need to do something about this. They need to build stronger houses. The only thing that's still standing is them trees. Eh? Them trees are custom. They know they know to prepare themselves. Them trees standing, Papa. All you waving, wave, man. Waving the, wave the rain, man. But houses underwater, we boy, boy. I just remember our own situation guys with Hurricane Maria. We actually had top uh top of the third floor and water was still reaching us but it was coming from the roof. The neighbor's roof just slammed into our roof and you know water, agua. My mother was saying that she can make some tea. I said I go inside, I'll say I'll check, I'll check it for you. Go in the kitchen, gasa, a big space in the roof. And the roof the roof of the other house in our house. Boy, I something else, we. No, you guys on the water. Water's like crazy. And if you shit rock, you have there, you have to rebuild the whole house, eh? Because the, the shit rock going to expand on the water. Hmm. Well, when you think you're safe and you're dry, you're not safe and dry now. Mother Nature bring back the waters. I remember I'm Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. He was saying that people should be mindful that alligators will be coming around. So for those of you watching and seeing and say, let me go and joy ride in the water. Please be careful now. Alligator, alligators in Florida, you know, you know, you forget. 
alligators and crocodiles there. So you have to be mindful of that. Look, one waiting for somebody. <laughs> Let's hope it's not somebody waiting for. But they out and large all over the place. There's even a video I saw. I think I have it there as well. Yep, this is it. Yep, this is it right there, guys. They coming out. They coming to Viv. I think this is another one right there. They out and large, man. They out and large to Viv. Let's bring it back again. This is not them fake thing that they, this is a real thing, you know. So people, please stay out of the water for me. Stay out of the water. And then again, you can probably stay out of the water because look at that. Your house in water. Well, you, how are you going to stay out of water? Please, don't open your door now, please. Don't open your door. Or try to find a roof or something for you to, to stay away from the waters because Florida have alligator. Okay? You do not want to be one of those who get eaten by alligator in Florida. That's crazy right there. You see all that. All look at where the water reach. Look at where the water reach. You think your step safe? Your step not safe no? Your step something not safe at all. Brethren, all you have to take it easy for me, please. I don't hear nothing happen to all. Me me say me 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 say me me say me me. Well, at least it had a little hole, a hole, um, wall there. It had a little wall that stayed, but the rest of the house do stay now. It seems like that was the only part of the house that had wall and the rest had wood was made with wood or sheet rock and well the wind blow it down off off big bad wolf boof oh, puff off pass no that is puff puff pass that is something else <laughs> big bad wolf say um, um blow blow your house down well ian was the big bad wolf eh look it have a christmas hat outside there i guess that person was preparing for christmas but unfortunately, you might not have a nice Christmas as you think. No, prayers goes out to you, the, the person of the house. Yes, guys, your vehicle's not safe now. Vehicle's not safe at all. Look, things there. Vehicle, boy, you mad. Guys, take it easy for me on the road, please. And be mindful of, of power, power. I think there's... Is there electricity in Florida? Look, the car flip. Car flipping. The flipping car flip. You know about the flipping phone? Well, flipping car. Brethren, I don't think this was designed for that one at all. Look them trees. Look them trees underwater. Some trees above, some below. Guys, please stay out of the water. That alligator in the water. Okay? Do go and say, but let me go and see what happening. Behave yourself. If you have a drone, use your drone. But you, what that? What? Hey, the alligator in the pool now. Let me see that day, guys. Let me see that day. I don't know what that inside there, but don't go in your pool neither. He might check in, boy. Let me go and I, I fed up. Let me go. Ah, jacuzzi. Hi. You know, jacuzzi, no pool. No, because if you say alligator inside, there, please stay away from, from pool. No, not the time to go in the pool. Ah, yes. You can be rich, poor. Moment. Moment. Brand new McLaren hypercar with over $1 million is washed from Florida garage by flood waters from Hurricane Ian. Look at there, guys. Look at there. Your car, your car not escaping, no? Mother Nature care if your, your car is a million dollars or ten dollars. No! Mother Nature will come for everything. It want to clear out things, man. That's what Mother Nature does. Nice McLaren car. And another thing I was asking is based off the, the, the very Tesla themselves. I know the Tesla batteries, once they touch water, the actual um, ingredient inside of the, the, the material, inside of the battery, once it touches water, it got it exploding that's one of the things that we notice you guys can google this for yourself and see they did the testing of, of, of the thing maybe they coated the battery properly to prevent these things from happening but what about the tesla vehicles that have are, are in florida region and if water touches them it's gonna be it's gonna be a terrible thing eh? it's gonna be terrible i haven't heard any report on this but i i don't think that is a good thing at all Man want to go hybrid and, and say, oh, we conserving, you know, we, we trying to protect climate change and what have you. They want to go, even though that is a very debatable topic, because for you to be able to build one of them Tesla batteries, you have to do a lot of things for you to get that, that destroying the earth. That is an interesting part there. But they want to go um, 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 and say they want to go for electric car. But furthermore, even electric cars, I see when man run out of electric cars, guess what they're using? They're using generators to charge their, their batteries. So they put in gas in a generator. 
they put in gas in a generator and the generator is then connected to the electrical part of the car that charges the battery why don't you just have a, 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 a gasoline vehicle instead because you still want to charge your vehicle for you to then use it say you're using electric vehicle and using generator that using gas to charge your vehicle that don't Hey, I tell you, we, we're not easy now in that place. We're not easy at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Anyways, guys, moving along right there. I must say that this is this is very sad. Guys, pray for Florida. This is this is not anything cool at all. This was a category 4 hurricane. Okay? And, and close to a category 5. Nothing simple about that right there. Anyways, guys, we have some better news. Uh, in this, we have to go down to Grenada. So let's head down to Grenada, guys. Grenadians are now paying less at the pump for gasoline, the price... Let me bring it back. Grenadians are now paying less at the pump for gasoline, the price of which had been capped at $15 since December 18, 2021. So Dominica and Grenada pretty much have the same currency. They most likely are getting gas from around, usually around the same places. Um, why then is gasoline capped at 15 and our own, our own went at it? to 18 and the government said they are subsidizing which means if they did not subsidize it would most likely be over 20 21 dollars which doesn't make much sense because if you're looking at other caribbean islands and other caribbean islands don't have the gas prices as high as dominica would given the the, the point of, of 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 sale and of course the economic development and you know how the economy is operating usually you would expect you know people who are poor in a poorer class like dominica to have less but no we have one of the highest Send kids is about fifteen dollars. Grenada was fifteen dollars. They capped it at fifteen dollars. So they, they anything above fifteen, the government will pay for it. That's what the government is doing for their people. But Dominica talking about subsidizing, and we are paying one of the highest. I don't understand these things. Anyways, let me continue. Effective Sunday, September eighteenth, the price of gasoline is now twelve dollars and seventy four cents in Grenada. <laughs> oh God, have mercy. So right now, Grenada's gas is, as of September 18th, 2022, is $12 and some cents. $12 and some cents. Dominica was only, only so what, 16 or 15? I think it's 16. Hold on, let me, I have that dinner. Okay, yeah, that's Dominica own. 1637, 1638. Green at own is $12, guys. Don't you think it'll be point if we we shopping in the wrong place? Because I myself sometimes I'm trying to give the government the 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 the, the um the the, the 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 um what do you call that again uh, the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, guys. Are we shopping in the wrong places? Why is Grenada own twelve dollars and ours is sixteen dollars, and we have the same currency? We in the same Caribbean, most likely shopping in the same area. How on earth? Sixteen Grenada cap they own at fifteen dollars. With sixteen thirty seven, the government said it. Why, yeah, boy, I don't, hey, I don't understand that. Though. I don't understand this kind of this mathematics there. Anyways, let me go back. Effective Sunday, September eighteenth. The price of gasoline is now $12.74 in Grenada and $12.92 in Caribbean Pity Martinique. The price of diesel is also down from $15 to $14.57 in Grenada and $14.75 on the sister house. So what? Guys, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out here. Eh? I'm still trying to figure this out. Why is our gas prices this high? We need to go and shop. I mean, my way side, the government them smart enough. They would say, okay, guys, what do you think about going in that region? If the gas prices there is lo are low, is lower, why don't we go there? I hear we still owe Antigua money. We, st we owe Antigua money for gas. <laughs> Boy, what trouble is that for people? And the other gas station, what are we going to go Why don't we just go directly to these people? We don't have the, 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 the knowledge to do these things, to go to... Maybe Grenada is getting the gas at, 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 at wholesale price. And we're getting it at retail price. Maybe we're getting it from... Well, not maybe. I know we, we owe anti-guys set of money. 
So if your anti guy set up money, most likely it's retail price because anti guy doesn't create their own gas. Why are we doing these things to ourselves? Why? Somebody help me because I cannot understand. I cannot fathom this understanding. On the sister house, the 40 pound cylinder of gas remains at $40. Guys, let me know your thoughts in this guy. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, man. Because I, I, I cannot understand. Send kids is like 15 something. And you expect send kids to be higher because send kids has a higher cost of living. So you expect things to be higher there. Dominica has a lower cost of living now. Our gas is higher than send kids own. <laughs> Grenada economy is much better than Dominica. Their gas prices is much lower than our own. They capped at 15. Me and Motley them said I think they capped at 14. Anything goes about 14 something or 14 dollars. The government will be the one to take take it. And as they put in the cap on their prices, they realize that the gas prices is going down. And at that per same particular time when me and them was putting a cap on their prices, guess our own went up from 16 to 18 dollars. Grenada at September 18th. Guys, my battery just died there. My battery just died there. But I, 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 for the life of me, I cannot understand these things. What are we doing? Why, why, what are we doing? What? What? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Because I think if, if the other Caribbean islands are doing something and we're within, within the same vicinity of them, we, we need to be doing something wrong. <laughs> we are definitely doing something wrong. Grenada bring down the prices. We bring down our prices from 18 back to $16. 16 to the 7 16 to the 8 why, why are we paying these high prices? I'm not going to the government saying that the, the, the subsidies in we boy. They subsidizing and they still have VAT collecting a set of money on Dominicans. <laughs> I don't know. Well, tomorrow is when Ruby's employees will be terminated, guys. So we'll see what we have. The government will come in on the last day like they did last time to keep Ruby's alive. We'll see. But let me know your thoughts, man. That is just crazy right there. Let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if you have not done so yet. Definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. I will see you guys in the next reaction video. Definitely, guys. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Boom, bang.